What's up everybody, Andrew Mahone here, gonna open like seven random things. I think it's seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, all right, seven random things. I just grabbed them out the studio and let's party, all right. Gonna start things off with this Tapu Coco GX10. Let's see if we can get anything out of this. Hope you all are having a fantastic day so far. I'm chilling, having a good time. I mean, who can't be happy when you're getting ready to crack some Pokemon cards? So let's rock this out. What do we got? Tapu Coco, the GX. Very cool. And we've got Evolutions, Guardians Rising, Steam Siege. I love Evolutions. I think the set is awesome. Reminds me of the old cards back in the old days. Very cool. And uh, speaking of that, I have uh, recently purchased a lot of stuff for my old collection. So that was really exciting. Had my friend Sean come over and, ooh, what do we get? A Mega Steelix, super sweet. Very cool there. Love that that is a dual type, you know, rock, ground, whatever, and steel. Very cool Pokemon there. Gonna put a sleeve on it. Buddy Sean came over. We were testing for the Dallas Regional Championship and had a lot of sweet cards in his old card collection to show off. Actually made a video about it, so hopefully you all got a chance to check that out. And, uh, you know, got to purchase a lot of cool stuff there. Aaron also recently purchased in an old card collection at the shop. And I got to kind of pick through that and then buy some cards off of Aaron as well. So, you know, definitely juicing up my old card collection, which has been really exciting for me lately. Also had somebody uh, on Twitter contact me and um, got me in contact, you know, got me a Japanese, like this Japanese Misty card, which I'm like really excited about because it only came, it was like a rare Misty card and it only came, you know, in this CD packaging, which is like super funny and obscure that it came with like the CD, right? And it was the only way to get it was by purchasing this CD package, you know, with uh, with the Misty card in it. So obviously very hard to get because, you know, kind of this, you know, odd CD package, you know, that uh, was only distributed in Japan. So definitely a hard Misty card to get. I was able to, you know, get in contact with that guy through Twitter and he should be sending it to me now. So really excited about that. And, uh, you know, hopefully uh, he said he'd be on the lookout for more like, you know, old Japanese cards. I'm actually looking for, ooh, cool Shaman Hoopa there. I'm actually looking for old cards, like base set through the e-reader series in Japanese. So uh, I'm looking for these cards in Japanese because I want to build decks. So like what I'm doing is I'm building decks from these eras, which I have like a lot so far. You know, I probably own like, I own like between 50 and 60 uh, Cleffa, which is like from the Neo set, and Cleffa is just like really good and used in like every, you know, base Neo deck, every like Neo deck ever uses Cleffa. So I own like 50 of them and just like a bunch of these cards, like a bunch of Haymaker decks. I have like a bunch of, you know, Blastoises, things like that, uh, Scythers, you know, Electabuzzes. I have like a lot of these cards, but what I want to do is I want to build them all in Japanese as well as English. And that is just like my kind of goal as a collector right now is like I'd like to build my whole collection in in Japanese and English because if I could build them build the decks in Japanese I feel like oh we got a shining Jirachi awesome pull there really excited about that super super sweet all right we're able to come out of that Raichu GX shining legends box with a shining Jirachi excellent pull very very cool card Love the artwork on these shining Pokemon. Sweet, got something to go with my good old Mega Steelix there. On to the next one. Gonna continue, what, with some more Shining Legends. Let's open this Zoroark thingy, see what we can get. But uh, my thought process was that if we, if I could collect all of my old decks in both Japanese and English, like that way, uh, it would actually be kind of fun to play you know, like a mirror match because you could play a mirror match and like one side of the mirror match would be English and one side of the mirror match would be Japanese. And I thought like that would be kind of interesting and a fun thing to do. What do we get? Oh, a Raichu GX. Oh, very cool. Uh, got another one, another Raichu GX. But, you know, so that's my goal. But the Japanese cards, some of them, you know, if you can find an old collection with Japanese cards in it, they don't have, like, a lot of monetary value. 
uh, especially like the trainers and stuff, because there's not like a huge market for those cards, but they are a little difficult to find as far as just like finding someone who has like a lot of these old Japanese cards. So I'm hoping that my contact, you know, that helped me get the Misty card is going to be able to help me get some of these old Japanese cards. If you know a way to get some old, you know, you know, old Japanese cards or know somebody with them. Oh, what do we got? An Ente GX. Awesome. Uh, you know, if you know someone, got a contact, whatever, way to get some old Japanese cards for my collection, uh, go ahead, hit me up on Twitter at enjoyfriend, E-N-J-O-I friend. I uh, would love to talk about it because that's what I'm trying to do to juice up my old personal collection. You know, and I'm also, you know, always looking for you know, misty cards and things like that that I don't have. But, you know, I got to actually take a look at what misty cards I still don't have because it's getting to the point where I'm probably pretty close to having, uh, you know, most regular misty cards. But then it's going to like, uh, you know, once I get like all the misty cards that I that I need, uh, then I'm going to start collecting them in like other languages, Japanese, you know, so on and so forth, uh, especially like the full art trainers you know i i would like to get like you know the full art misties you know, like in every language and things like that so like you know that's probably where that collection is going to continue on and uh so on and so forth so let's get through this team skull grunt uh team skull a uh, little box set here see if we can get anything cool out of that very cool i was thinking uh I would like love to do like gameplay videos like I don't know like just like stream and you know, Pokemon video game like I've actually like I don't play all the time like I'm not like a competitive VGC player but I know like most people that play the VGC are not competitive you know most VGC players are casual like myself and uh, I do think that the games are a lot of fun to play uh, though I have been to a VGC event before like I do know about like you know EV training Ooh, a reverse Guzma very cool. I do know about EV training and IVs and breeding and, and all that. Like, I, I know about all that stuff, and I'm familiar with it because I have been to a VGC event before, and I have spent hundreds of hours breeding my Pokemon before. So I'm, like, familiar. I just don't keep up with, like, the meta game or, like, any of that stuff. So I don't know anything about, like, serious VGC play. But, you know, I do think the VGC is a lot of fun. The video game is. What do we get? Oh, a Luxray break. Very cool. I think the video game's a lot of fun, and I would love to, like, you know, stream playthroughs of, you know, the video games. I'm playing through Gold version right now on my DS. It's just so much fun, and I just think that, like, streaming it would be a lot of fun, too. So, I don't know. Any of you guys think that that would be, like, interesting to watch? Would you tune in? Would you think that that would be, you know, a fun thing to do as a community? Like, play through a video game together on Twitch or something like that? Uh, I think that that would be, like, super sweet, and uh, I would really want it to like my dream is to like you know be able to do that like have the resources that i need to be able to stream a video game like that by the time that the next you know video game comes out so like i me like you know everybody else in the world is hoping that the next pokemon game will come out for the switch i love my switch think it's so much fun and i'm hoping you know, that the next Pokemon game comes out for the Switch, and then I would love to, like, play through and either do, like, YouTube videos of a playthrough or, like, Twitch streaming as a playthrough. We're both... Oh, we got a... Uh, I don't know what I want to mess this up. This a uh, Hyper Rare? This is a Hyper Rare, right? Secret Rare? I Well, whatever. I don't know. I, I don't... Let's see. It is a Hyper Rare. I think that's a Hyper Rare. Uh, but anyways, we're going to call it a Secret Rare because I know I'm safe if I call it... Uh, a secret rare. I think the hyper rares don't really exist. That's what I was told. What well, hyper rare just means rainbow rare. And this isn't technically a rainbow rare. So we're going to call that a secret rare energy. All right. I think I'm right. I think that's what that actually is called. So we got the secret rare psychic energy. Gosh, those things look so cool, man. Those look so sweet. Uh, I've seen some decks completely blinged out in these energy. I don't keep my, I don't keep my cards nice enough to, to really warrant uh, playing those, you know, I, I bend my cards too much, so I can't really play with those. I would feel, I would feel too guilty actually playing like a whole set of like secret rare energy. I think. All right, on to the Kingdra EX box. Speaking of that, uh, is this in here upside down? That is in here upside down. Look at that. The Kingdra's in here upside down. Oh, Kingdra, what are you doing? 
What you doing, man? What you doing? You, uh, you seem to have gotten, uh, flipped upside down. So, anyways, here's a king drug. Go get yourself a king drug, guys. Very cool. There's a code. All right. But, uh, like I was saying, what was I saying? Secret rare energy. Oh, yeah. Uh, I do play some rainbow rares in my deck. So I do play, like, you know, Buzzwool and, and like, like and Rock rainbow rares. I think those are a lot of fun to play. Uh, but uh, just the, the secret rare energy, I feel like they're just so expensive and, like, you need so many of them that I would just feel really bad. But uh, I do think they look awesome. And uh, I like, I personally play with the. Wizards of the Coast, you know, uh, promo energies in my decks when I can. And, you know, those aren't as bad. I mean, each of those only cost a few dollars a piece. So even though I've completely put those into play condition, I don't feel as bad about it. But uh, I was saying, oh, I got my off my buddy Sean. Uh, I was buying Blastoises off of Sean in order to play with in some of my decks because I have, like, a base Neo Blastoise old school like rain rain dance blastoise deck built but i don't have one oh i think these are in here upside down all these cards are upside down and upside down cottony oh this is the upside down and we've got a full art alakazam ex uh that is awesome i actually have not pulled that card yet while working at Darium's, I don't believe. So that is a awesome, awesome pull there. Nice rip. Uh, as much as Alakazam gets a hard time, Fates Clyde gets a hard time for being like not a great set. I think this card is just a beautiful looking full art. So really cool there. The texture on it is awesome. That And not to mention, Alakazam cards hold a special place in my heart because Alakazam was like not printed for the longest time you know, because of whatever those legal issues, you know, because of, you know, Kadabra uh, not being able to get printed. So something like that. But anyways, we got Alakazam back. I think Alakazam's so cool. Awesome Pokemon. But anyways, I bought these Blastoises off of my buddy Sean. And uh, he was like, you know, well, this one, you know, one of them he didn't want to let go of. It was just like a mint mint minty minty uh base set blastoise and i have never seen i mean really and i've seen a lot of bla like base set blastoises but i had never seen one in real life that was as minty as this one like this one was crispy like it looked pack fresh like there was not a ding on it this thing was beautiful and so you know i ended up you know we ended up working out a deal and i got it off him but then you know he's like uh you know i hope you keep it in good condition or whatever and i was like you know what yeah like I, you know i don't know if i'll have to play it but like you know i kind of want to just have it yeah you know as a completionist i have like a really banged up version uh of you know base set blastoise in my in my collection that i can use in the deck if i need to or i have some foreign ones as well that i could just throw into the deck as a placeholder if i don't want to play this nice one but i was looking at it again today and i don't think i can bring myself to play this base set blastoise it is just such a beautiful card and that blastoise is one of my favorite cards ever printed as well so i really don't think i can bring myself to play it's just too cool of a card to put in a deck so gonna have to have that thing sit the sidelines and just like go into my collection binder so that does it for the seven random boxes thank you all for watching the video pretty excited with how this opening went i mean obviously a lot of these are promos so the pulls are looking a little inflated there let's put all the promos off to one side and see you know what our real hits look like but i feel like they weren't bad like okay so we've got those are our promos and then here are our real hits promo and real hits over here all the real hits you know come on out all right i guess oh the kingdra is a promo as well all right so most of these are promos but i'm still like really excited about the secret rare energy uh really excited about that shining jirachi as well definitely can't complain and we've got a pretty cool haul there so thank you all for watching the video make sure to check me out on twitter at enjoy friend and you can just follow you know more of my pokemon musings on there or just chat me up whatever uh tweet at me so thank you all for checking out the video make sure to like the video sub to the channel ring that bell peace